The zodiac signs that powerful women should date. Now, when I say should, I do mean that relative to your personal preferences, um, relating to people who just align with you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, energetically, men who align to your purpose and your mission as a powerful woman, as a woman in her power, as a woman who has activated her superpower, as a woman who is confident and comfortable and has um, unleashed her sensuality and sexuality, is emotionally intelligent, is mentally balanced and stable. These are the zodiac signs of the men that you can safely date. And when I say date, get to know, um, more than likely you will probably align with, get along with, and be comfortable in the presence of these zodiac signs. Okay, so here we go. Libra men being at the top of the list. Leo men. Aries men. Scorpio men. Pisces men. And Cancer men. These are the six out of the 12 zodiac signs that women in their power should date. Now I say 12 zodiac signs, but we know we have that 13th sign, that 13th floor, that 13th ancient level Ophiuchus, but we're not going to go there. These are the six signs um, that you should focus on as a woman in her power. Do your own research on these zodiac signs. I know there are people who have their own beliefs about zodiacs, but what you cannot argue with or debate or negate is the fact that zodiac signs or the ideology behind zodiac signs are very, very prevalent and have a lot of validity. A lot of people say, well, I'm not my zodiac, I'm my own person. Well, of course, duh, we know this. We're not talking about that, okay? This is for those of you that understand that at the core of each of us are these primal innate qualities that I don't care what you do, baby, you cannot shake, okay? You cannot get rid of, you cannot throw away, you cannot try to change or shift because this is who you are and what you are at the core of your being. And you cannot run away from who and what you are at the core of your being. Okay, so at the core of these zodiac signs being, again, we'll go through them again, Libra, Leo, Aries, Cancers, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, at the core of their being, they are men who are naturally sapiosexual. Okay, sapiosexual, they are turned on by intellect, right? They are turned on by a woman and her power. They love to see a woman who is confident in who she is and what she is. Not egotistical, okay? Not that, because at the core of these men as well is, is they love authenticity. They love women who are caring, genuinely caring, actually give a damn about other people, okay? So we're not talk about, talking about you being so confident when you're looking down at your nose at folks. That's, eh. listen, if that's what you're getting from what I'm talking about, that this is not the conversation for you. Go on to somewhere else. Go find another podcast. This is Fireside Chats for Global Women because turning pain into power is sexy. And we are unveiling some things here. We are talking about some things here that are, um, in a lot of cases, um, just kind of swept under the rug. You know, we, we try to turn a blind eye to this type of stuff and say, oh, that kind of stuff doesn't matter. Oh, it definitely matters. If you do your research, if you are aware of the emphasis and the impact that the cosmos, okay, have on our beings as humans on this planet, as beings on this planet, then you already know what I'm talking about. So at the core of these six uh, zodiac signs that I mentioned, their core characteristics, characteristics, excuse me, are they're turned on by a woman in her power because they're naturally sapiosexual men, meaning they are aroused by intellect. They are aroused by wisdom. They are aroused by knowledge. Okay. Whether book smart or street smart, a blending of both would be ideal. Okay. Um, as a woman in your power, it's very important that you take into consideration these aspects because listen, a woman in your power, you have a great and grand mission and purpose on this life. You really do not have the time to, um, to waste on anyone or any circumstance or any 
person, place, or thing that will delay or get in the way of why you were born on this planet. It's very important that you um, find out early, research early who and what you align with because you know who and what you are. So it's very important that you dissect and break this stuff down for yourself. Don't play games with yourself. Yes, you should be looking at things scientifically, spiritually, energetically. I'm not saying, you know, um, you should go down a, a list and say, oh, you didn't fit this one thing. And so out for you, I don't, I don't, I don't mean that, but it's very, very important that you as a woman in her power who know why you are born on this planet, be very aware other than who you allow into your life because your mission and your purpose depend on it. Okay. Um, these six Zodiac signs that I mentioned, um, more than likely, more than likely will align with your mission and purpose. They will not try to inhibit or delay or interfere. They will not be jealous by your power. They will, they will not be intimidated by you being in your power. As a matter of fact, they will help to motivate you to be even more in your power. They will support your plans. They will be a part of your business. They will be a part of your mission. They will have your back. They will protect you and dare anybody to fuck with you. <laughs> when they are around, even if they're not around, they'll send out their telekinesis, making sure you're okay, wherever you are on this planet. So to my women who are in your power, who know who you are, who have activated your superpower, know what your mission and purpose is. You have activated your sensuality and sexuality and are confident in it and comfortable um, in it. And maybe you're a woman who's growing into this, you're growing into the knowledge of who you are and what you are. This is for you too. If you are a woman who's learning what our superpower is, uncovering it and discovering it for the first time in this life, take this into consideration. Libras, Leos, Scorpios, Pisces, Aries, and Cancers are the men who will walk with you. Matter of fact, they'll be singing, can I walk with you through your life? Can I, can you, what, oh shit, I done fucked up. Let me see, just do it again. <laughs> I got to switch it around because it's an Indie Ari song. She says, can I walk with you through your life? Can I lay with you ooh, as your wife? Can I be your friend to the end? Can I walk with you? Ooh, through your life, right? You're going to be singing that, singing that, honey, when you meet one of these men. As a matter of fact, when you magnetize, draw, and attract to you one of these men, you will come back to this cast. You're going to leave a comment under here. And you're going to say, girl, thank you. I needed this. It was revelational. And I'm going to say, you're welcome. <laughs> so this is Fireside Chats for Global Women because turning pain into power is sexy. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. I want to hear from you and what you want to talk about next. I'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Mwah.